Hello, welcome to a video overview of the CCH Pro System FX Practice Management May 2017 release. When opening Practice Management to the main menu, you will notice a new look and feel. The icon links have a new look, as well as the left navigation has a blue background with white text in all modules. Some additional changes to the look and feel include, all labels on frames are now bolded, and all main modules open to a newer resolution at 1024 by 768. In contact management, new filtering options have been added to the WIP tab when working with individual client engagement folders. The filter options include previously available checkboxes and in addition, you may select to include billable, non-billable, and unposted WIP. Also, a new column showing an indicator on each row of the grid has been added and can be sorted by record type. Firms have found that virus scanners used by their clients may block emails with the word invoice in the subject line. Due to this, a new option was added to allow the word invoice to be replaced in the email subject line. This can be entered in firm invoice format setup on the custom text tab in a new field under email subject line. A utility for changing the client code has been added in the Utilities menu of the Administration module. This allows for the main code of a client to be changed, however, the engagement portion of the code is not modified. This utility works for all clients and prospects, including those with an inactive status, and it is recommended to use the Client Lookup to identify clients to change. When reversing invoices, a new option to declare the current period was added, this allows a new general ledger accounting report to check the dates and create a prior period adjustment for reversed invoices. The new general ledger accounting report will compare the date of the reversed invoice with the current period date to determine a prior period adjustment. This report can be accessed on the main menu of the administration module or in the new firm reports tab on standard reports in the reports module. Note that this report must be set up in Security Setup if accessing it from Standard Reports on the Firm tab. As mentioned earlier, a new tab has been added to the Standard Reports folder for specific reports that are oriented for managing your firm. These reports have separate security privileges. Available on this tab is the Employee Management Report, the Firm Management Report, and a new General Ledger Accounting Report which is a new report to provide firm information for creating journals for your general ledger. Many firms using billing worksheets have asked for a listing of standard paragraphs to be used by bill managers in conjunction with the billing worksheets. This new listing is now on the Client tab of the Standard Reports folder. This release introduces an electronic routing option for tracking project status changes. To get started, go to Firm Setup in the Administration module and click the Project Status Dates tab. Here we can see a new checkbox to select for turning electronic routing on. The new routing tab is only enabled on the Project Status folder if the firm has turned on electronic routing in Firm Setup. As a user changes the status the routing tab will update automatically when the user clicks the OK button. A user who has permissions to change the project status may also manually edit the routing information in the grid. The Print Route List button provides the user the ability to print the routing information for the project selected. On the Project Tracking Dashboard, users can click Set Project Status on any project row. This launches the Project Status folder and the user can click the Routing tab to see the status change, the date, and the employee who made the change. The Billing Decisions screen also has a new look and feel. Buttons, such as the Correction Lookup and the Client Information buttons, that were located at the bottom of the screen, are now displayed at the top of the screen, and the amount labels under the Group buttons have moved and been reconfigured below the Filter Whip navigation bar. When setting up a client project in Project Management, it will prompt for an employee bill rate number to be used. However, this rate is not required. When entering hours for a client project in time entry, the bill rate number of the employee will be used to determine the value of the hourly rate. This rate will be used unless the employee has the permissions to override it and enters a different rate. In this example, the bill rate number was set to 5. The time entry calculation will use this employee rate number, unless it's being overridden. There are two methods for employees to enter their time project-based entry and regular time entry. However, to calculate a time entry custom project rate, employees are required to use the project-based entry method, which is an option in security setup. 
if employees use the regular time entry method that includes a project with a custom rate, a warning message will appear. This warning does not stop the user from saving the transaction but does indicate a change is needed for entering time. Other programs that will incorporate the new project bill rate include the rolling of projects, the report writer project fields, and project find and change. For passwords, it is not required to have a password set up for logging into practice management. However, if it is set up, the user will be prompted to change their password if it does not meet the new minimum requirements. The password requirements include at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and one special character. The password must also be between 8 and 32 characters in length and cannot include the user ID. Note that if your firm is using Internet Time Entry and you have not changed your password to the new format, users will be prompted to change their password when entering Internet Time Entry. Thank you for watching this video overview for the Practice Management May 2017 release.